Hello everyone, this is Kevin Morsfield from Autodesk. I'm a NetFab Technical Sales Specialist. Today I wanted to do a quick video on our updated Lattice Commander user interface. We've uh, made it a uh, quicker access to all the Lattice Commander functions for a streamlined workflow. Basically we have a new ribbon for the interface for Lattice Commander. So let me go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and load a part. We can go up and add a part. I'll go ahead and load a dot 3mf file we do have um, a lot of capabilities and importing uh, different CAD files native CAD files I just step and X SolidWorks to name a few go ahead and open that file we do a repair when we bring in the part we're good to go with the quality here so I have the part on here and we'll go ahead and access the lattice commander feature we can easily do that by grabbing the part here on the left side in our parts tree, dragging it down to our Lattice Commander feature. And with the Lattice Commander feature, we create bodies. So every time we do an edit on the on the particular mesh file, uh, the mesh body, the, you will get another body listed in here under the Lattice Commander uh, headliner here. So let's go ahead and take this first part. And here's the new interface and the ribbon for Lattice Commander up top. Let's go ahead and hollow the part. We'll go ahead. You can put the thickness that you want for the hollow. We'll go ahead and hollow that out. And we have a clip planes tool up here. You can quickly look in just to see your hollow, if it's the right thickness for the particular hollow you want to do here. We're all good with that. And now I want to go back to the original body. We'll select that with the light bulb here. And we can then go up to our volume lattice feature here. And we get a preview of the lattice to be created. We have a library here, drop down list of the different lattices to pick. I'm going to go ahead and pick the X lattice. And we'll go ahead and make this lattice a little smaller, a little more dense here, so we can fill this part, the hollow area of this particular bracket, with a smaller lattice. We'll go 15, 15, 20 and the XYZ and we have um, a thickness feature we can put in for the lattice beams I'm gonna go ahead and put it at one millimeter and then we hit generate here and now you see a lattice that's been created we can also edit this lattice which is a nice feature of lattice commander to be able to edit it um, change the thickness of the beams and such so let me go ahead and we'll go ahead and pick uh, the lattice here we're going to go up and apply thickness gradient and it brings up these part placement arrows that we can move to set up um, where we want to edit the lattice so let me just set this up here we'll make the middle of this particular bracket we'll make it uh, four millimeters we have one millimeter um, lattice that I created we'll go ahead and make the middle here four millimeters and we can go here we can make it a variant but I will for this particular exercise just make the middle a little stronger a little thicker we'll make it four millimeter we'll hit generate now we have the lattice that we quickly edited um, made the middle four millimeters we have the bottom and top still at one millimeter I could actually go and edit the beams and in individually if I want delete beams just to let you know that there's more editing features here but let's go back to the original body of the hollow I'll select that and show you some of the editing that we can do here we can actually edit and mark parts of this bracket here to open it up so you see the lattice when we create the component so I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna go edit body here and we can mark shells and surfaces I'm gonna mark some surfaces and I'm going to delete these so that when we create the component we will see the lattice we'll go hit remove we also even have a feature where you can thicken up um, the skins of the particular part by going to select shells and we can thicken that up for example we can make this five millimeters I thickened it up now we go back select all the different uh, mesh components here and now we have a bunch of meshes here and bodies that we need to create the component so we're going to go to edit component and this is where we assign a role to the part for the different bodies so the mesh we want to trim we want to trim where the lattice is sticking out here 
the skin we're going to make solid the first lattice I want to ignore because I edited that lattice so I want to make the second one that I edited it made it to four millimeters in the middle we want to keep that solid I want to generate part legacy so I can keep the sharp corners we'll go ahead and generate the component and right now it's going to go ahead and trim that mesh and create a component and put it into the parts tree here on the left side. The component is now done. We just have to go ahead and here on the left, just turn off the light bulbs for the individual mesh components. Turn on the part that we created, gets put into your parts tree as the last component in the list here. And now we can show you with our clip planes what we've created. We've created this part. Remember, we uh, took this part here and we uh, made the bottom and top at one millimeter here. And then we made the middle thicker here. And we also edited out the side of the part so you could see the open lattice. And we did that up here. And we made this uh, cylinder here a little thicker, made it five millimeters thick. Again, this is Kevin Mortsfield, and this is just a quick example of the new interface for the Lattice Commander. Thanks.